everyone, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare and makeup haul for you. This I've been buying probably about the last two months and every time I was like, oh that's not enough to put in a video, that's not enough to put in a video and now this is possibly going to be too much. I'm going to try and go through everything quickly and just give you a little bit of my opinion because I have used most of these products by now. So let's start with skincare. So the first thing that I did was I replaced my um, basic toner. Um, for you who, I think I've talked about it previously, I used the tea tree oil toner from the body shop for like more severe days and I like a really light toner for the rest of the week. So the first one I picked up was the Garnier Mincellia Cleansing Water um, and this was like all the rage. This is meant to be the drugstore version of Bioderma. Um, I liked it, I used a lot quite quickly and then I came out with this really, really strange rash and in about October time, it lasted for about a week, very like lumpy on my skin, it was horrible. My friend is a nurse, she looked at my face and she didn't think it was an allergic reaction but still it put me off so I bought something instead of that. And this was my old favourite, the Olay Essentials Refreshing Toner. And this is for normal, dry, combo, oily, everything you want. I've used this forever. This is one of my first toners I ever used. I love the smell, I love everything about it. So I got that. Then I decided that I was being silly with this large one hanging about. So I started using it again. I haven't had any repeats. I've been using it a lot, especially for eye makeup. And yeah, I can say that I don't know what it was that caused the reaction, but I don't think it was this. Um, I also used up my previous um, eye makeup remover and that was a Garnier one and I started off loving it, it'll be on my empties next month and then in the end it made me so oily. So again I went back to ye old faithful, this is the Nivea Daily Essentials Extra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. They've changed the packaging, it didn't used to be like this but this is amazing, I've used this over and over again and will continue to repurchase. Last thing, um, when I was in Vegas, I bought the Garnier, is it Garnier? I think it is, the cleansing oil that everybody raved about. Um, I bought it and I used quite a lot of it quite quickly. And then I realised that I needed a replacement and you can't actually get that one in the UK. So I went out and bought this one. This is the L'Oreal Parish Skin Perfection Miracle Cleansing Oil. Um, so I have this as a backup and ready to go. But since then, I haven't actually used my Garnier one that much and I haven't actually got around to using this. This is still a full bottle and I'll give that a go and report back to you once I've used up my other one. So that was just the four skincare products that I've bought. And let's talk about makeup because there is a lot sitting in front of me right now. Okay, so I'll go through some sets that I got to start with. So at my work, we have like a Christmas fair when some brands come in and just have their products on cheap. Um, so the Body Shop was one of those um, brands and I decided I'd pick up some of their brushes because they were 40% off. So I actually only wanted this one, which is the Eyeshadow Blender Brush. And I really love the, the, the weight that they have in the um, brushes. And the brush is super soft and I absolutely love this. It was a great, great purchase. And yeah, so I was gonna buy that. I think that was about four or five pounds. And then the other one that I was kind of toying with was the blush brush. Is it just called the blush brush? Yeah, it's just the blusher brush. So I was toying with the idea and the lady said to me that actually came both in a set together for £10. So I ended up getting that and they also came in a body shop bag, but I don't know where that is. The only thing I will say about the blush brush is, look, this looks like a foundation brush to, to me and it's very, very soft. Maybe it's because I'm used to using Real Techniques brushes, which are quite firm. This is still really dense and it applies my blush really well. What some, the first time I did it, I like rubbed loads in the pan and then as soon as I went on my face like loads came out so it does transfer the product from the pan to your face really well but I don't know I don't know if I real still prefer my real techniques but those two are from the body shop okay next was Black Friday remember that at the end of November everybody went crazy here in the UK for it for probably about the first or second time that I've seen it go crazy I went into town and I only ended up buying one thing and this is the Smashbox All for Eyes set this retails for £22 this was on sale for £12 so I thought why not me and my friend we always go past the Smashbox counter and go ooh shall we shall we and see the horrific prices and go hell no um, so in this set you've got four products I have used them all so I can give you a quick little review the first thing that you got was the Smashbox Photo Finish Under Eye Hydrating Primer. So I have actually used this once or twice, but I can't really give you that much of a feedback on it. Um, I have really, really fine lines in my under um, under my eyes, and if I put a, a very thick or heavy concealer on it, I tend to get really bad creasing and I look really cakey. Um, I have noticed it's been reduced the two times that I've used this, but like I said, I need to use it a little bit more to give you a fuller review. The next thing that you got was a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now what I like about this sample size is the brush is massive. Sometimes if you have a small sample you lose some of the brush. Um, the brush is really nice. The first time I used it I was a bit like, ooh, not sure about this one. It really, really, really lengthens your lashes. It doesn't give too much thickness or fullness. It doesn't like lengthen them wide, like 
width ways but it makes them really nice and long and I actually really really like that so that is a good for me the last one you got is a little eyeshadow trio um, I really love the um, packaging on this so you get nectar roast and cinnamon toast which rhyme and that's awesome um, I don't know which one's which or can you tell I don't think I don't think you can tell which ones we want, well, unless people might know. Um, they look really small, but they're actually really, really super creamy. Um, I won't swatch them for you, but they're actually really, really nice. And it's just nice to have it on inner corner, lid, and outer corner. If you were traveling, I would definitely suggest picking this up. And sometimes, if I can't be bothered to get a massive palette out, I'll just grab this out of my um, like eyeshadow quad drawer and just whap that on. So yeah, really impressed with those Smashbox products. And I will get back to you about the under eye primer once I've used it all. So Benefit also had money off on that day and they only had 15% off, which I guess is better than nothing. So I decided I'd buy myself something that I've wanted for absolutely ages. And this is the Erase Paste um, Under Eye, um, what do they call it? Um, a corrector and concealer. So I got mine in number one, which was fair, obviously, the ghostly of ghost faces that you can get. So it comes with a little spatula and I was a bit like, don't really know if I'm going to use that, that's weird to me. But I actually love applying it with a spatula. The way that the spatula is like domed, you can really get it under your eyes. I am wearing this today and I'm wearing the Under Eye Primer by Smashbox. I've used it quite a bit of it as you can see. This pot probably would last you a really, really long time. Um, if you've got th fine under eye lines like I do, I would say literally apply this very sparingly or put it on with um, some sort of primer and then um, set it with some powder um, it really does help with concealing and correcting it does what it says in the tin it was as good as what I thought it was going to be it's just a shame that I won't be able to wear it as much as I'd hoped because I didn't realise it was going to be so thick but yeah I like that that was the erase paste the second thing um, I actually bought myself for Christmas but I've already opened well not I didn't buy myself for Christmas this is from one of the Benefit um, Christmas sets so this is Sweet Temptations and this is £20 and in it you get two full size Benny Barbs and two um, mini, not even mini mini, um, Benny Tin and Lolly Tin. So let me just open this up for you. I thought for £20 this had to be done. I believe that one of the Benny Barbs, um, just one of the full size ones, is about £14, £15. I am wearing this one today. This is, which one is this? Oh, this is Benny Balm. The other one's called Lolly Balm. Um, the, it doesn't apply... Too much colour, as you can see, it's just a very light tint. I really like the red one because it gives me that kind of like healthy, wintry look. Um, so that's the Benny Bar. The Lolly Bar, like I say, I haven't used yet. But it's exactly the same, a light, kind of like a pinky. It's got a little bit of purple to it as well. Um, and then I haven't used the tints either. Um, one of my friends loves the Benny tint, she swears by it. So that's why I thought this would be quite a good way to use it. I'm scared a little bit that they're, oh they're really really runny and liquidy. Should I put it in my hand? Hang on, let me let me put some on my hand. Okay, I don't even know anything about this so I put them on so faintly. But this one is a little bit of the Benny Balm. I just want to try and see if you can rub that out. And this one here is the Lolly Tint. So you can get a, quite a nice subtle look from them. They are very liquidy though. I thought they were going to be slightly more creamy. I don't know, I'm scared, but I will give them a go now. I've tried them on my hand at least. They look like they're going to have good stain powder, like they're literally going to tint your skin. But yeah, I'm rambling. This is £20. This is an absolute bargain if you want to get into benefit makeup or anything like that. Definitely grab one of these. They are, these one I've still, still seen. The other one that I um, ordered, well, my husband ordered me for Christmas is sold out. They also have a little magazine um, available in Boots if you go in or Debenhams. So grab it, have a look at the, tin, the tints and the sets because they're a great way to pick up some benefit products. Okay, the last three things are some eyeshadow palettes. So the first one we'll try is the one that I haven't actually used yet. Um, TK Maxx has started to get a lot more American brands coming into their shop. They've got, um, they're now selling um, China Glaze nail polish. They've now got um, more cargo uh, makeup. They've got uh, Physicians Formula makeup. So yeah, it's really great time to be looking at TK Maxx makeup. So I picked up the Cargo Cosmetics um, Suited to a Tea Colour Palette. I actually saw it, thought, wow, £30 down to 10 I'll give that a go. Didn't even look at it. Fool. Um, I really love this set. The brush it comes with it is very nice, a dual ended brush, um, but they are all cream eyeshadows. And this scares me, just like the lolly tint and the belly Benny tint scares me, this really scares me. Um, the I've only actually swatched Crumpet and it was, oh was it, that one's Crumpet, that one's Crumpet. But it was really, really nice, but I don't know, just, this isn't something, some of the other eyeshadow, but the ones I'm going to show you in a minute, they, I get them and they go straight into my routine. I don't have to think about what I'm going to do with them. They're kind of eff, eff, effortless, that's the word. But with this one, I need to actually sit down and think, 
how am I going to work this? Um, so I'm going to try and do that over Christmas, but I don't want it to go to waste. But I don't want to sit and swatch them all and then try and give it to somebody because I've got my skanky fingers in them. I don't know. Okay, the next one is the new eyeshadow palette by Sleek. This came out in about, I think it was October or September time. And this, oh, I should have showed you the outer packaging. This is the Arabian Night Smoke and Shadows Limited Edition set. So I'm really happy to see that Sleek have actually changed it. So they put the title of the eyeshadow palette on the front there now, because before it was only on the back. Um, I've used this a couple of times. This isn't for somebody who likes subtle eyeshadow neutrals. This is for somebody who wants to go, bam! So this is perfect. If you love a smoky eye, you can do a green smoky eye, a purple smoky eye, a neutral smoky eye, blue, everything. I use this when I go out and when I want to do a drastic um, smoky eye, deep eye look. This is, like I said, it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. The pigmentation is amazing. I will show you, but I'm going to get covered. Um, I've or spoke about sleek makeup before and the eyeshadows are amazing. They're so creamy and pigmented um, and I just love them. I've got quite a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that they've released um, and I use them all. Some of them I obviously don't use as much, but if you're into smoky eyes, definitely pick that one up. And I think they are £7 retail. The last product, which is a bit of a holy grail product for me, I've just realised I've left something in the bedroom. Let me go get it. Okay, so I said it was actually the last product, but then I just remembered I've got some others. Um, quickly, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is still a mini size, this is only 6ml. And I got this for my birthday because I'd run out. I don't know if I like the applicator as much. The one that I had before was an even smaller mini of this and it had like a doe for applicator on it. This is literally just squeeze it out of the cap. Um, so before I would literally just obviously just run it across my eyes and then blend it in, but the product's good so I guess you need to just get over the application. So, the last product that I got was um, a holy grail product for me. I've been looking at this on Amazon for months and I would watch it go up and down because I don't know if you know, prices on Amazon go up and down all the time. So I would chase this down from 25 to 20. When it was 20, I'd go, oh no, it'll go down lower than that. No, it wouldn't, it'd go back up to 25. I pretty much was gambling on it, but it never happened. I went to Dublin for my birthday and we were on the plane and I was just reading the like brochure of what products they had on board and they had it this is the new tube by the balm this is absolutely amazing i've wanted this for so long everybody raves about this i got this on the plane i can't remember if we flew ryanair or if we flew um easy jet which is really bad but I can't... so our cat's just come in and knocked everything over and now he's trying to weevil himself around the studio lights it's gonna get dangerous um so yeah the new two, this was on sale for, this was 26 euros on the plane and it's so good. It also came with a sample, I'm just going to grab the cat. Okay, Tyler's going to help me with the rest of this. So we also got a sample size and this is of the, put a lid on it and this is the um, eyeshadow primer by the barn. Put a lid on it. So you also got a little sample of that as well as the full size palette for the 26 euros. Whoa! It's going to fall off, I swear. Um, so this is the palette itself. It came with a little brush in it. Turn here. And these are the actual eyeshadows. So you've got such a good variety. Some of my favourites are Silly, which is this dark brown with like glitter in it. And then I also use Cattail and Face. Oh, I also use Sultry. The white, the Sultry, Silly. Um, I haven't used this like brown I swear to God, cat people will understand. He's now like getting under the other light. I love this. You need to get it in your lives. If you love nudes, I love a nude palette. This is what you need. This is what you need. So yeah, that is the new two palette. And that wraps up everything that I've bought recently, probably about the last two or three months regards to skincare and makeup. Go check out the benefit set still. I'm going to hopefully try not to slow this video before Christmas. If not, hopefully they might get reduced after Christmas is what I'm hoping for because I want to buy some more. Sorry about Tyler interrupting my video. He's now going to sit and watch me do some more. Um, so I will see you all very, very soon. The next video I'm filming is going to be my Birch Box versus Glossy Box for December. So uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon. Bye.